Hello guys, it's Kylie here back with another video. Today I'm so excited to film this. Um, this is just the package, what you're looking at right now. If you want to be part of my Slime Squad, just subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment down below, hashtag Slime Squad. So, I'd like to get out some disclosures before we start the video. I paid for this with my own money. I got this off of Amazon, which I will show you, um, the exact Mystery Slime Box later in the video. And, um, I did not make the money off of YouTube that I paid for this with. I pretty much just purchased it with my own money and yeah my opinion does not matter although i really enjoyed this um and i would definitely probably suggest this to you guys so yeah um like this video if you enjoyed at the end and that's pretty much my intro so this is what you, the package is what you're looking at so this is the mystery slime box it's it's supposed to come with five two ounce slimes um, there's supposed to be all different variations like cloud and fluffy and crunchy and scented and clicky and stretchy, blue, pink. I just pretty much just read that off of there. Is this, it is $14.99 and it was free shipping. So I'm super happy about that. Um, it did take me a second to kind of get this open. This is in fast mode. So I hope that this goes quicker. This wrapping was super cute because it was Christmas themed. I didn't notice that when I clicked on it. But it wasn't actually that Christmas themed too. Um, it was more just a bunch of different slimes. And when I opened this up, I expected there to be a bunch of extras and fun stuff. But it was just these slimes. I mean, it wasn't from an Etsy seller's. It was just from a big company. So this is kind of what I expected. I still did get five two-ounce slimes. And I got them all for a pretty good price. As $15 was $14.99 for all of them. Um, so that was very good. So this first one is this blue slime um, with flown beads in it, which I did not know there was flown beads in it because they actually were at the bottom, which is very confusing because flown, be flown beads usually float to the top. And um, this slime was so thick and glossy. It was kind of sticky. I did have to reactivate it, um, and it was a bit hard at first. It was definitely like a glue-all base of some sort. But I found this little duck charm in here, and it was just so cute. I literally loved all the aesthetics of this slime. The way that it was, like, a really nice baby blue color, and that had this little duck in it. It was um, pretty difficult to reactivate, though, because I feel it had a pretty um, tough chemical smell to it, which was really confusing because it was a really good slime, and I could tell that it was homemade, so that was pretty confusing. Um... This slime did also inflate while I was activating it. Um, it didn't inflate that much at first. It was still thick and glossy, but it did inflate. And I don't really like it when my slimes inflate, but that's okay. Um, overall, this slime was, like, really good. The only thing that was really bad was the chemical smell. And it did inflate a lot, so I did have to get an extra container for it. But I'd give it a 4.9 out of 5, um, only because... It was really good for the price, and um, it had no scent. So this next one is this one. It had a candy cane drawn on top of it, which was kind of unprofessional, but I understand because it had an amazing peppermint scent, and I, it smelled kind of like candy cane um, by the candy cane on the top. I kind of um, knew that already. It had a really nice vibrant pink color, pink color, and it was pretty much the same texture as the other slime, but it was like it, it wasn't as sticky and it was really like thick also i literally never owned slimes that have been this thick before that's why i'm so excited to go to global slime convention guys i will have a video reviewing all the slimes that i bought from all the professional sellers and all my slime ingredients that i'm going to be buying um i'm super excited for that it, i think it's global slime convention it might be world slime convention but i will be there um i will not be selling anything because Obviously, I'm not very that big, um, but I will be there buying some slime so that you guys can look out for that video coming up and for my Wish Slime review because I'm doing another Wish Slime review. So, this slime was super amazing. I literally loved how glossy it was and how thick it was, and that's why I give it a 5 out of 5. This slime was literally perfect. And by the way, all the slimes were $3. I just kind of divided the $14.99, rounded to 15 divided by 5. You guys understand. This one had gold pieces on the top, which I think this one was also supposed to be Christmas themed. Like with the gold, like the gold tinsel that you put on your Christmas tree or something. And like the white was maybe snow. 
um, this one was the same texture as most of the slimes. I did expect a variation, as it said, um, on Amazon, but all these slimes were so amazing, so I can't really complain. Um, they were all very clicky, and they did hold, like, their form, whatever that means, like, when you would squish them. I didn't really do any bubble pops because all of them were a bit sticky. Like, I didn't really squeeze them with my whole hand because they get, like, really stuck um, to my hand. But it was like, it was like a really nice texture for all of them. Um, this slime, super amazing drizzle. I really liked it. Um, it definitely was really nice. Like all of these were super spreadable and clicky and glossy. And even after playing with it for like a super long time to like get good content, this slime still stayed super amazing. It didn't inflate as much, which made me extremely happy, but it did have a chemical smell like the first one. So I still have to give this a 4.9 out of 5 because of the chemical smell, but overall the slime was amazing. This next one finally is a different texture. Um, I, it was kind of weird. I think they were trying to go for a cloud slime because there was this little cloud charm, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, but it didn't, it didn't really work. Like there wasn't enough instant snow and it was really sticky too. And but it was nice. It didn't have that strong of a chemical smell, but it wasn't scented. It kind of actually smelled like glue, so that was good. Um, but it didn't have a cloud drizzle. It had this kind of funky drizzle, and it was really sticky. So I don't exactly like this one. Um, but, I mean, it was an okay slime. It was definitely worth the money. Well, if I was buying all these individually, I probably wouldn't have purchased this one. But it's always a mystery. Maybe I'll buy another one and see if I get the same slimes um, for like a future video idea. If I can get enough likes on this. I'm sorry if you guys hear that plane flying by um, while I'm doing my video. Uh, you can kind of just hear it. Um, so this slime did also inflate, which was really surprising because I couldn't exactly tell while I was playing with it that it inflated at all. But it did inflate. And I still... This slime was really good for ASMR. I mean, once I reactivated it, so after this video, um, it was really good for like, you know when you touch the slime and then you lift up your hand and it makes that amazing um, sound. I did also like it for that. It was kind of Easter themed. Um, it was kind of like Easter colors, but I did enjoy it, um, I guess. Not as much as I would have enjoyed a Drizzly Cloud Slime or just another one of those thick, glossy slimes. Um, so, yeah, by the way, guys, you should go check out my $1 Target slime review. Just saying, I mean, I have nothing to say right now, so. And this slime did inflate, as I said. It was a 4 out of 5 because there was a scent and it wasn't really a cloud slime. And this is the last slime. This slime was literally so amazing. It was just like all the ones before the cloud slime. But it was, it definitely had a nice texture, just like all the other ones. No birthday cake scent, which I kind of got the vibe of a birthday cake. Also, there were like different pastel colors and then bright colors of the foam beads, which I really liked the variation there. Um, super thick and glossy, definitely a glue all slime. And it was pretty much just like all the other ones that we saw before. Um, it also did have a charm in it. It was this cute little M&M charm, which I really liked, but I didn't know how that one with birthday cake, so maybe this wasn't a birthday cake slime, but I did enjoy it. Um, yeah, this slime was really amazing. I literally kept all these slimes. Some of the Wish slime reviews that I did, I didn't really keep the slimes afterwards. Well, I've only done one Wish slime review because they kind of turned out pretty bad. This slime did turn out really good. I really did. I really did enjoy this whole video and all the aesthetics of it and just all the different slimes and the cool things that I did. As I said before, when I tried to squeeze the slimes for bubble pops, they got stuck to my hands. I really hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Well, I don't want to do my outro yet. Um, so it was a super amazing slime, so I'd give it a 4.9 out of 5 because of the chemical smell again, um, but $3 was the cost. So here are all the slimes. Um, I really did enjoy 
pretty much all of them, even the cloud. My Etsy is Slime by Kylie Official. If you're interested in purchasing any of my slimes, and my Instagram is Kylie underscore slimes. I'm going to try to start posting on that more often. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Goodbye.